Well, let's do a batch. Yes, batch 34. We've got batch 34 back from testing. And, uh, you know, it's interesting, that's for sure. And, of course, everyone has these knives. These are common, right? Um, <laughs> uh, well, it's an odd and unusual batch. Fat Dragon Mavro Niv. NOCMT09, and uh, everybody's got one of these, obviously. Fura knives, the 210, the 201. Keswow, Kesawo, whatever. Kesawo, is that a casserole? What? Kesawo, and three Ethan ground knives. That ought to be interesting. Plus, with armor or without armor, any way you want to go. Let's start with the fat dragon, because if you ain't fat, you ain't where it's at. And they say it's S110V. So here's what it looks like. It looks like awesomeness. Yes, absolutely. That's why I've got it, and I love it. And it says CPM S110V at 61 HRC. Which brings up another topic. I don't have Rockwells on these. We don't have a Rockwell guy right now. Uh, Kurt retired from doing that. And uh, uh, we're going to pick it up again here in a couple months. But for right now, I'm going to give you the PMI results. In other words, the x-ray scan that, that tracks the type of steel. But I can't tell you what the hardness is. Now, I had a bunch of... Ethan ground knives that he did for me just recently. I think I called that batch 32. And yes, so the hardness level was right there at about 60 to 61 on some of those. So that, you know, they're okay. They're good. But here's the uh, Fat Dragon. Yes, it's S110V. Take a look at the vanadium content, the chromium content, cobalt. And so... If you want to look at Crucible, look at their Chromium. There's 15%. So take a look side by side. Okay, carbon is a light element, so we don't. That doesn't register on the analyzer. But if you look at the Cobalt, 2.5 as opposed to 2.8. Uh, the Molly, 2.25. Here's 2.33. So this really lines right up with S110V. So absolutely, that's a match. And other than that, it's an absolute beautiful knife. And I'm going to hold on to this for a while. So at some point in time, yes, I'm going to get a Rockwell. And I may take the blade off so I can hide the divot better. So uh, that kind of thing, because it's just too good to mess up. Now, the next one is this Mavro Niv, and I got this off of eBay, and I was just looking at it, and I just thought, what a crazy, funky design. And But I think I paid all the money anybody should pay for this knife, which was 50-something dollars, I think. I'd have to go back and look at my purchase history. And it's a liner log. This is aluminum, and then these are steel liners, etc. And they're not skeletonized or anything. Not a whole lot of hard work went into this, but they said it was D2, and I go, yeah, right. So, is it? Well, here's the results. And you can see where it says, I mean, his PMI gun because their factory does work with D2, it will say it on their software suite. Uh, but also you can see, you know, it's an 11 to 12% chromium tool steel. There's the vanadium, not bad actually, uh, coming up on 1%. And here's your rest of your ingredients. So yes, oh, by the way, Rolf, who does my testing, he uh, is... Uh, you know, he does have a degree in metallurgy, which is comes in handy at that point, doesn't it? Being the, the engineering guy for uh, quality control. Next is my MT-09, which is... Whew, how crazy is this one? It comes with uh, radial tune suspension. 
I mean, it's got it's got racing slicks on it or something. But this one they say is M390. So of course I had to send it in for a little old scan just to find out if they were lying to me. And no, they're not lying to me. It's actually M390. You can look at the vanadium, chromium. You know, chromium on M390 will be right there at 19%. Vanadium right in this area. Yes, so it is. It's M390. Rockwell, unknown as for right now. Later, we'll get tested. Um, with armor. This with armor knife is called the fin. So I just always thought this was a great design, and I got this. I think I, I think I ordered this one. I, I think they were gonna send me one, but I had already ordered it, so I got it. And I reported on. I did a video on this with armor fin. I, I like it. I just, it's more like um, in the class of knives that are like M Tech type knives is really what it is. So, it, unfortunately, uh, it's not as, as nicely made as I would like it to be. But, I mean, really, for all practical purposes, it functions fine. It's just, find a different manufacturer. I, if, I, if I were them, that's what I would do. Uh, but I do like the design very, very much. And they're saying it's D2. Is it D2? Well, his software suite says yes. You can see the chromium right there, vanadium, etc. So, yes, it's actually D2. Huh? We're good so far. Here we go. Here we go, sliding down the uh, rabbit hole now. Ruh -ruh. So, let me do a little explaining on the uh, Ethan Grau stuff. You know, the owner of Ethan Grau sent me knives to test saying, this is our new production stuff and we've made uh, manufacturing changes. So I want you to test them to make sure they're D2. And we did, we tested them, they were all D2 and it was all fine. Well, that doesn't include some of the USA stock that he had had on hand because traditionally we checked them and no, they weren't, they were 8CR. And so he heard about our test results. That's why he came to me to have the new stuff tested. Apparently must have fired the old uh, production guy and got a new one. But yes, all the D2 was correct, except the fact that I ordered these three knives. He didn't send them to me, okay? So I go, I'm, I'm gonna spot check. I'm gonna see what's going on with his USA stock because he still had old stock sitting there for his Amazon trade. And so I bought these three knives, just blind. I just went and just decided what the hell, I'm gonna buy three knives, I just picked three randomly. Um, not terribly randomly because I do like these designs. But okay, so this one, is it D2? No, it's not D2, it's 8CR and you can see the 13% chromium, uh, all this kind of stuff. So, no, this is 8CR. So, they haven't washed out of the system. Um, although, let me tell you that I bought this either in late July or early August of 2020. So, uh, that was fairly soon after he, you know, I had tested other knives that he had sent to me. So, yeah, this may not have washed out of the system. Now, this 913, I really like it, and it's been rebranded as other, the Python, and also as Kesuo, which is what this thing is, a brand, and others. So, uh, it, it goes under a bunch of different names. I ordered another one just a few days ago with tan scales, and I'm going to have that tested to see if that one is D2. Next is the nine or is this uh, EF67, and that's not D2 either, and that's this one here. Okay, great design though. I like the look of the knife, and I don't know if it's a copy of anything or not. Uh, nothing that comes to mind right away, and ooh, tip down only. Ooh, wow, that's too bad. I kind of like the thumb studs; they're nice. But so, is, this is not D2 either. Now, nah. okay, so that's 8CR. 
Now, final, and this is a fairly new design for Ethan Grau. So I did pick this one up when I ordered the other two off of Amazon. And guess what? Oh yeah, it's a D2. Okay, so bing, 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 we've got a winner. Uh, so right now, I cannot guarantee you that you're gonna get D2 when you order an Ethan Grau knife. Uh, until things wash out of the system. When that happens, I don't know. I'm going to spot check, okay? And I'll try and keep you informed on that. I like this one, don't you? Now, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, personally, I really don't give a rat's ass. I really don't. Um, first of all, HCR is a, you know, I, I know the chromium level goes from like what we'd seen 11 point something up to 13, but that makes a difference in corrosion resistance. So that's number one. Number two, Chinese D2 isn't exactly, it can vary in the recipe and sometimes therefore maybe not the best performance. So 8CR is a good little performer. I think it's less finicky with the heat treat. You can strop it and sharpen it right up and make it real razor sharp again and go again. And so some of the knives I use are either Chinese D2 or 8CR that I use just for beater knives around the house. So yeah, that doesn't really make a big difference to me. Now, don't put D2 on a blade that ain't D2. I get that, but obviously he wouldn't be coming to me for PMI testing if he had his own PMI gun. So he does it. So he's, you know, and at this point, probably sorting the batch out from the USA inventory is not an option. So it'll wash through and it'll go out the other side, hopefully soon. Fura gear. Now, these are knives that I got from the owner of Fura gear. He must be talking to the Ethan Grau guy, but I had tested Fura Gear knives years ago, and yes, they were not D2, and yes, they are now. So, um, and you can get these on Amazon, okay? And so, I'm going to be pretty certain you're going to get D2, uh, because this is a model, I think, that's fairly recent for them. So, I believe that that's all good and true. But I'll probably buy one off of his site just to spot check on a future video. But this is D2. This is the 210. Okay. So is it really D2? Yes, it is. It says D2 up here. You can see the 11 something percent chromium and the rest of the uh, elements. Yes, D2. Now, this one here doesn't pretend to be 8 D2, the 201. This is OS 8A. So, is it really OS 8A? And yes, it is. Okay. Um, there's your there's your elemental. So, at least with OS 8, it is in the true stainless range. Okay. So his his software suite. Don't pay attention to this because it 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 doesn't. It's not set up for detecting OS 8. You, you, he, at that point, you just have to look at the elements. Okay. So, yes, it is. And last but not least, I mean, I got contacted by one of the viewers going, I got this knife off of AliExpress and it's carbon fiber, which is probably carbon fiber G10 laminate, it looks like. And it's, it's really, really cheap. I mean, all these knives are really, really cheap, except these two. These are not. And this wasn't, wasn't terribly cheap. That was in a 50. But the rest of this is like anywhere from 19 to $28. And so this is in that range as well. Interesting little knife. It's got a nice action to it. And so he was like, I like it so much. I ordered a second one, but you need to check it out. So I did. I ordered one, waited got only it was three, four, five weeks, and got it. Uh, and so they say D2 on this thing. They, they're they claiming it loud and proud. Is it D2? And yes, software suite, yes, D2, and look at the elements. And so, yes, it's actually D2. So, I mean, that's interesting. And now I have another Kesuo knife that I've showed recently, supposed to be D2. It has carbon fiber on it as well, but it's a titanium frame, titanium backspacer, titanium 
pocket clip, milled pocket clip, and it looks just like this, okay? If you look on my Instagram. But I'm gonna be reporting on it because I sent it in for testing. So we'll confirm um, that it's D2 as well. And you know what? That's it for this batch and short and sweet, thank God. Uh, not putting you guys to sleep or anything out there. Just wanted to let you know, here's the, here's the batch. Uh, this S110V, interesting. Tepe Designs uh, has a knife that he has recently done for Tucson Knives and it is in S110V as well. And I did have that tested and I can't remember the model number right away. I'll try and put it down here. But just in case you are interested in that, uh, your early bird information on that, I just got the test results back. It is truly S110V. Haven't ever caught two sun knives with the wrong steel okay so it's all they've always been true to what they've advertised and yes that's s110 uh as well and whew, man that night that knife is a nice one that one is really good so we'll report on that in a future batch i do have batch 35 already back in hand i already i think i have batch 36 back in hand and I've got batch 37 still hanging fire. So we're gonna keep doing these batches, albeit they're not, you know, we're not coming fast and furious with them and we don't have Rockwell, so I have to apologize for that. But I think the important thing is for these off brands that are kind of weird and or have been a little unreliable in the past and unknowns that, that Really knowing that the steel is as advertised or not is the important thing. Uh, typically, we don't catch Rockwell's being way too soft. Okay, so, you know, when you get D2 from China, usually it's in the 58 to 61 range. So you usually don't catch that being much different. Although, in the future, we'll get the Rockwell machine, we'll do that. And it's important on some of the super steels where the Rockwell is. And so really testing even American made knives and, and really high end brands would be revealing as well, I think. So we'll do that. Okay, I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much for hanging out. This is, this is batch 34 in the books. And you know what we do? We love them knives, wherever my little patch is right here. Yes, we do. So you guys stay sharp.